Hi guys! This is my tutorial for our Angel Wings Memorial Glitter Tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and Rust-Oleum Flat White Spray Paint. Now I'm ready to add a base color to my design. My garage is currently freezing, so I'm trying out some of my Miss Lillian's metallic paints from Southern Bell Glitter. This tutorial was requested by one of my followers who wanted to make this tumbler for a family member. I wanted to do this tutorial before I started my fall designs, but I ran out of time, so when I got this request, I decided to squeeze it in this week. We'll be back on track with winter and Valentine's Day designs next week. While our paint dries, let's mix our custom glitters for the sky background. I'll be using the epoxy method to apply my glitter and I decided to add some sky blue dispersion color to help blend out my background since I only did one coat of paint. I let this glitter layer cure, seal with Krylon Triple Thick. Now we're ready to start building the background elements for our clouds. For this epoxy layer, we're going to start getting ready for our cloud placement by adding the shadow for our clouds with mica powders. If you look at the clouds in the sky, you'll notice the edges around the clouds have a darker tint, so you'll want to place the micas where you plan on placing your clouds later. I like to use my glove finger to add all of my micas and dye for this design, but if you want to use a stir stick or something else, do whatever works for you. You of course don't have to do this, but if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know how I love to add depth to my tumblers. Let this layer cure, then we'll be ready for the next step. Our next epoxy layer, we're going to add the wispiness of the clouds with the white mica powders. I've already added a coat of epoxy and now I'm using the leftover epoxy to mix in my white micas. I'll be placing them on top of the darker blue micas that we added previously. If you've noticed, you'll see me using my kitchen torch instead of my propane torch to pop bubbles for some parts. I do this because I don't want my epoxy to move after I add my micas. My kitchen torch puts out less heat, so my epoxy will be less likely to move than if I were to use my more powerful propane torch. Let cure, and now we're ready to add our clouds. For this layer, I've already added a layer of epoxy and now I'm popping the bubbles with my torch. Now I'm going to take the leftover epoxy and add a Lumilite epoxy dye for my clouds. I use the tip of my finger and I lightly tap the dye onto the tumbler to give me the look of fluffy cumulus clouds. I build my clouds up by adding more and more dyed epoxy until I get the opaqueness that I want.
When you're all done, let this layer cure and then we'll be ready to add our vinyl. Okay guys, in all honesty, the wings can be a pain to weed. I'm not talking about the thinner stroked or offset wings, but the super thin version I use with the metallic textured vinyl. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted the thin, delicate lines in the metallic silver to really accentuate the etherealness of the wings, and it does. They come out gorgeous and I love them, but for a price, and that price possibly being your hair from ripping it out in frustration. Reverse weeding is definitely recommended when weeding the thinner stroked wings, as well as removing the super thin lines in the wings as well. You don't really need them and they never tend to stay down properly while epoxying. If you would like to use these wings, I'll include them for free with the word art, so you're welcome to use them, but don't say I didn't warn you. To help keep my vinyl in place and to keep it from bubbling up, I'll be sealing it with Quick Coat from Counterculture DIY. I'll be doing this before I add my layer of epoxy. For this coat, I wanted to add a touch more sparkle by mixing Woody's Goodies Mica Flakes into my epoxy. I won't be adding it all over, just over the wings and on some of the clouds. As always, you can absolutely skip this step if you like.
I sealed this layer with one more coat of epoxy and then I was all done. Prayers of comfort to all of you who are grieving the loss of a loved one. May God wrap his arms around you and give you peace. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I'll see you again next time. Bye.